Honorable Speaker, since then, our local currency has gained 15% against the US dollar, and it has gained between 17 and 18%, Honorable Speaker, comparative to our regional currencies. Honorable Speaker, our currency has also gained against the sterling pound and against the euro. And Honorable Speaker, this just goes to show that the policies that we made a year ago, Honorable Speaker, those policies are working. Honorable Speaker, in the year 2023, our, our, our financial organs and structures have been working on several parameters. For us to stabilize our GDP and grow at 5.6%, for us to have an inflation that is within the, the benchmark as a country, for us to have a local currency that is gaining. Honorable Speaker, we have had to use both monetary and fiscal tools. And more, Honorable Speaker, many times we have seen our interest rates going up. Honorable Speaker, that has been deliberate by the Central Bank of Kenya, because number one, we needed to tame inflation, and the monetary tool to do that is of raising the benchmark interest rate. Honorable Speaker, the same tool has been successful in preventing capital outflows, because when you raise interest rates, Honorable Speaker, and you are at par or higher than the other uh, global partners, then, Honorable Speaker, you prevent capital outflows, and at the same time, you attract capital inflows. And therefore, the issue about interest rates, Honorable Speaker, has been deliberate in so far as containing inflation is concerned and as so far as making our currency stronger is concerned, Honorable Speaker. But the most uh, tool that has been very successful, Honorable Speaker, has been the fiscal policies. And the fiscal policies that we have had to employ are policies around production. Honorable Speaker, our country perpetually spends a lot of money in importing and especially food. And in that respect, Honorable Speaker, actually, our number two import as a country is actually edible oils. Kenya spends over 100 to 150 billion Kenya shillings every year in importation of edible oils. But the issue is not edible oil, Honorable Speaker. The issue is on foodstuffs. Honorable Speaker, a year ago, we came before this house and requested that we appropriate money that will go into fertilizer subsidy. Honorable Speaker, I want to report to this House that that fiscal policy has worked, that after we gave subsidized fertilizer, Honorable Speaker, our maize production, which is our mainstay, which is our staple food, our maize production, Honorable Speaker, has been able to move in the year 2023 from an average of 14 million bucks every year to the last season, Honorable Speaker, which we had a yield of 65 million bucks, Honorable Speaker. And therefore, that just shows, Honorable Speaker, that what we do here in such an afternoon could have far-reaching effects even to the plates of the Kenyan people. Honorable Speaker, when we grow food and therefore we don't import, Honorable Speaker, what we do is what is called import substitution. And import substitution is one of the issues that you can invoke when you want to improve your balance of payment. And therefore, Honorable Speaker, again, I want to commend this House for always passing very responsive laws and policies, which we can clearly now see the results, that our economy GDP is high, our inflation is contained, and our local currency is gaining ground against the international currencies and also the regional currencies, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, the current budget of the year 2024-2025 is a budget of, and I want to re, uh, members to get this figure correctly, because it's changing slightly from what we passed under the, on the budget policy statement. And therefore, we have scaled down our expenditure from the 1.18 trillion Kenya shillings, Honorable Speaker, to this budget figure, which is 4.006 trillion Kenya shillings, Honorable Speaker. 
and therefore the budget for this financial year is 4.006 trillion Kenya shillings, Honorable Speaker. That is also an, a, a climb upwards from the tabled estimates by the National Treasury because we had to respond to other emerging issues which I'll be enumerating in brief as I continue, Honorable Speaker. How we are expecting this money is that around 2.39 trillion Kenya shillings, roughly 2.4 trillion, is going to the expenditure of national government, which also includes the, the, the judiciary and also parliament, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, on top of that, this country will be spending over 1.233 trillion Kenya shillings in consolidated fund services, Honorable Speaker, which we call CFS. And CFS, Honorable Speaker, over 1.08 trillion Kenya shillings will be going into the payment of interest rates for our financial obligations. And therefore, Honorable Speaker, I'm talking about these things because they have a ramification of a member who would want a water project or a roads project, getting the full picture is important so that we also consider where the, our country is. Just for members to, to buttress that point, the budget is 4.006 trillion. Out of which, Honorable Speaker, the national government expenditure is 2.39, approximately 2.4 trillion Kenya shillings. Honorable Speaker, the money is going to consolidated fund services is over 1.233 trillion and out of which over 1 trillion Kenya shillings is going into the payments of interest rates for both domestic and foreign financial obligations. The only sunshine in that, Honorable Speaker, is that over 750 billion will be going into paying domestic debt, Honorable Speaker, in terms of interest rates, and therefore this is money that could add up in the pockets of Kenyans. But the other item, Honorable Speaker, is the equitable share which currently now starts at 400.1 billion Kenya shillings, which is also an upward trajectory, Honorable Speaker, because this House supports devolution. Honorable Speaker, there are a few areas I want to highlight. One, Honorable Speaker, is that we have been able to climb down on the deficit. The deficit for this financial year is a roughly 606 billion Kenya shillings. Honorable Speaker, if you check a year ago, this House was considering a deficit of, of, of close to 800 billion. Honorable Speaker, we have been able to come down in terms of deficit from the year 2023-2024, where we now have a deficit of 5.83% deficit to GDP ratio. We now have a deficit to GDP ratio of only 3.83% Honorable Speaker, which is commendable. It shows that we are borrowing less because we also want to emancipate ourselves as a country from our borrowing Honorable Speaker. I want to highlight a few things, Honorable Speaker, which are of interest to the people of Kenya. One, the education sector continues to get the lion's share of the money we appropriate, Honorable Speaker. The proposal before this House is that we are recommending approximately 700 billion Kenya shillings that will be going into the education sector in the Republic of Kenya. Honorable Speaker, there is money for basic education. There is money for higher education. There is money for practical, uh, 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 for TVET and um, TTIs, Honorable Speaker. There is money for KMTC even if it is the, in the health sector, Honorable Speaker. And just to highlight some of the issues, one, Honorable Speaker, is that in the tabled estimates by the National Treasury, members raised concerns about an element of school feeding program, Honorable Speaker. The Budget and Appropriations Committee listened, and I want to report to this House that we have already provisioned 3.5 billion Kenya shillings for school feeding program, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, in Kenya, there are, some, there are many children who cannot access basic education devoid of food, Honorable Speaker. And therefore, the Budget and Appropriations Committee responded to that, and we have appropriated a roughly 3.5 billion Kenya shillings 
into the school feeding program. Honorable Speaker, on top of the estimates that we are tabled by the National Treasury, this Budget and Appropriations Committee representing this House, we have also, in consultation with Honorable Meli, who is the Chair for Education, I can assure this House also that there is now sufficient resources to confirm the JSS in terms into permanent and pensionable terms, Honorable Speaker. The JSS in terms have done an incredible job for our country. They have given their labor at a very low rate, Honorable Speaker. They have helped our country for the last two years. It is now our time to also reciprocate by recommending that PSC confirm to permanent and pensionable terms the JSS in terms. And from this floor of this House, Honorable Speaker, I want to request TSC, as we appropriate these monies, kindly do not wait up to January of 2025. Please hasten the confirmation of JSS teachers immediately that we pass this budget, Honorable Speaker. And Honorable Speaker, also, there are all 46,000 in terms. Our proposal as Budget and Appropriations Committee is that we take care of all the JSS in terms, Honorable Speaker. Secondly, Honorable Speaker, agriculture, chaired by Honorable Motonga, is the cornerstone of our economy. Honorable Speaker, cornerstone not just in productivity, but also, but also in engagement. 70% of our rural population, Honorable Speaker, are engaged in agriculture. And that is why we will be requesting this House, through the proposals that we have brought forth, that we appropriate Kenya shillings, 10 billion Kenya shillings, that will go into fertilizer subsidy, Honorable Speaker, so that we continue supporting our farmers. Honorable Speaker, we are also anticipating and asking this House to also appropriate the monies to new KCC, some of which was in the supplementary that we dealt with this morning and others in this main estimate so that we continue also supporting our dairy farmers, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, we have also put some money for sugar reforms out of the farmers who previously supplied sugarcane to public uh, sugar factories, Honorable Speaker, and they are still old areas. We have also input some of the money, Honorable Speaker, so that we clear those deals. Honorable Speaker, in the coffee terrified, we have also put in two billion Kenya shillings on top of what we had appropriated in the supplementary estimates so that we also support our coffee farmers who, Honorable Speaker, deserve much more than they are getting. Honorable Speaker, in the fertilizer subsidy, there is also a component of KTDA subsidy so that we also support our tea farmers in regards to fertilizer. Honorable Speaker, Kenya, there are areas that are arable and they practice crop agriculture. But, Honorable Speaker, Kenya also has very robust and hardworking pastoralists, Honorable Speaker. And in that regard, Honorable Speaker, when we had the long rains, some of our brothers and sisters lost their livestock. When we had famine, some lost their livestock. When we had glitches in insecurity, some also lost the livestock. Honorable Speaker, to set the thread, we have put in one billion Kenya shillings for livestock restocking of the Kenyan pastoralists, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, there are many other areas around agriculture, but because of time, let me go to the other issue, which is health. Honorable Speaker, this House passed new laws, which is SHIF, Honorable Speaker. And in those laws, we propose to have FADs inside those laws, Honorable Speaker. We have provided seed money, Honorable Speaker, for operationalization of those FADs as we aim universal health coverage for all the Kenyan people. Honorable Speaker, on roads, there are many stalled projects. We have also appropriated and we have a proposal. Road sector is receiving close to 180 billion, Honorable Speaker. But out of that, over 80 billion Kenya shillings goes into maintenance. Maintenance is fuel levy. Honorable Speaker, I want to assure this House that even during the mediation, 
One thing that we put forward, and I want to report it is successful. The monies that has been coming to the constituency road committees through CARA will continue to be channeled through constituency road committee, honorable speaker, under the patronage of the members of parliament in our respective constituencies. And honorable speaker, on the same, we have what we call development partners funded, which is around 70 billion, which is around 60 billion, honorable speaker, or thereabout. But in a nutshell, the global figure, honorable speaker, yes, we have climbed down in terms of roads, in terms of the budget, but the budget that is there, we are channeling into, first of all, completing the stalled and ongoing roads projects, honorable speaker, so that we are prudent enough. The utility of a project is derived when the project is complete. When the project is not complete, there is no value for money. There is no utility derived by the Kenyan people. And that is the wisdom of first completing the ongoing projects before we start off new ones, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, our judiciary, in terms of access to justice, we have added more money to our judiciary. For the first time, the judiciary, which is oversighted, Honorable Speaker, by JLAC, led by Honorable Murugana, will be getting 24.6 billion Kenya shillings, Honorable Speaker, which is a step forward. Because we want to support all the arms of government, because that is how a modern state is shaped. Honorable Speaker, for the first time again, this budget is breaking many records. Those who are here in the morning, we debated the issue of the division of revenue. And I see here, Honorable Speaker, looking at the faces, we also have pros prospective governors. To make their work easier, even those who are already serving, Honorable Speaker, and to guarantee efficient access of the services offered by the county governments. Honorable Speaker, we have upped the equitable share from the previous 385 billion Kenya shillings to the current under consideration of 400 billion point one, Honorable Speaker. That means better services in our county governments, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, equalization fund, we are also appropriating around over 10 billion Kenya shillings, that money that will go into making Kenya grow together. All parts of the country matter. It is important for this house to support all of us so that we enjoy the cake that we are baking as a country. Honorable Speaker, I want to talk because NGCDF, the previous amount on NGCDF was 53 billion Kenya cities. Honorable Speaker, the proposal before this House, there is now a proposal for NGCDF of Kenya shillings, 62.9 billion Kenya shillings. If you do the math on average, constituencies might get, based on the current formula, maybe between 175 to an upward of maybe 250 million Kenya shillings. Honorable Speaker, GAF, our women leaders are doing an incredible job, Honorable Speaker. And I want to commend the President, because the chairperson, Honorable Jane Kagiri, has been fighting for the rights Honorable Speaker, one thing that I have to admit, this House has got very intelligent women leaders who are shaping the discourse in this House. And they are doing the same even in our constituencies and in our counties. And therefore, Honorable Speaker, on top of what was already there at the GAF, there is a proposal to add an extra 500 million Kenya shillings to GAF, Honorable Speaker. That money was not there. This is fresh money, and therefore it is an addition. Honorable Speaker, it is also an issue about our environment, 
industrialization and economic growth. And I want to report to this House, as I said during the budget policy statement, on top of the budget that is given to the energy sector, there is an extra, and I want to commend the Energy Committee, led by Honorable Kawaya, for doing a very thorough job on that, Honorable Speaker. We are proposing an additional 14.5 billion Kenya shillings, which will be shared equally among the 290 constituencies, and every constituency will be getting Kenya shillings 50 million for connectivity of electricity in our constituencies and villages, Honorable Speaker. And Honorable Speaker, what we have done, constituencies like Nairobi, where there is higher connectivity, there is also a challenge of lighting. And therefore, Honorable Speaker, in the narrative, in the narrative of that vote, we have been very categorical that it is electrification and other interventions which could also include street lighting, Honorable Speaker. So that if, the, if a constituency has a higher connectivity, Honorable Speaker, their challenge of lighting will be sorted by the 50 million for every constituency. Honorable Speaker, this House, Parliament, many times we confuse Parliament to mean MPs. Many times we confuse that the only people who are here in Parliament are the elected representatives. But Honorable Speaker, even the presentation I'm doing today has been concerted effort from the clerk of the National Assembly, Buana uh, down to the Parliamentary Budget Office, led by Dr. Maside, and other incredible people, Honorable Speaker, who are our, our staff, like Dr. Abel, there is uh, Madam Julie, there is Buana Dan Kachumbo, and all the others. I've mentioned those to represent other people who work in Parliament who are not necessarily elected, but they serve the people of Kenya. Honorable Speaker, this House also has our members of Parliament. We have our constituency offices, Honorable Speaker, where the people who work under us to offer efficient service to the people of Kenya are a domicile. Honorable Speaker, let us be fair to these people and we have been so in our budget that the staff of parliament, staff meaning from sergeants all the way to the clerk, they have not had any increment of salary since 2016, Honorable Speaker. The constituency offices, Honorable Speaker, people who work for the Kenyan people, when you are feeling bursaries, they are the people who do it, Honorable Speaker. They have not had an increment of salary just like any other civil servant. We are proposing resources for an additional Honorable Speaker of 10% of all the staff, Honorable Speaker, both the permanent in the National Assembly and those in our constituencies, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, this is a budget where the Kenyan people are winning. It is a budget where our economy is winning immensely. It is a budget that is also responding to social investments like education, like healthcare, and all the others. And the aim of this budget, Honorable Speaker, is not just to bake the cake, Honorable Speaker. It is also about how the cake goes to the people of Kenya, Honorable Speaker, those who take part and those who don't. And that is why even in terms of welfare, economics, Honorable Speaker, we have incorporated it. Transfer of monies to the 70 years plus, 70 year old and, uh, and above, Honorable Speaker, is there included those who got registered recently, Honorable Speaker. And the proposal of this House is that the 70 year and above who are our parents, they should not continue to receive this money through the bank accounts. They should be sent on M-Pesa and all the other platforms so that they access this money at our villages, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I want to thank everyone here. To thank the Budget and Appropriations Committee, of course, with our Vice Chair, Madam Mary Yamase, and all the memberships, to thank the Departmental Chairs again, the members of this House, all of them, including the leaders, Honorable Kimani Shongwa, Honorable Opi Wadai, representing uh, both sides of the House, because this has been a very collaborative process. And Honorable Speaker, this budget, because we have gone through it, 
will make our economy better. Honorable Speaker, with those many remarks, because we work together with the departmental committees, I want to request one of the chairs of the departmental committees, Honorable John Motonga Kanyuidia, to second this motion. Uh, thank you very much, Honorable Speaker, for the opportunity to second uh, the adoption of the Budget and Appropriation Committee report on the budget highlights for the year 2024-2025. Honorable Speaker, we have realized that the budget has been increasing over time. And this increase is, a, is, is, is caused by the increase in the population. It's also caused by the increase in the demands for money. It is also caused by the increase in demand for development. And that increase is commensurate with the levels of development we are in, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I would like to thank the Budget and Appropriation Committee for working overtime to make sure that they deliver this product in time and in the quality that the chair has 